Hello and welcome to National Park Wild. I'm Eric, and I'm currently in Lake Clark as I say these words. And I'm going to be doing a video about my first two days in Lake Clark. I initially thought, because I did a sort of combined trip with Lake Clark and Katmai for six days, it would be one big video. However, I saw and did so much that I have to talk about that I'm lumping this into at least three different videos. So that's what's going to happen. Let's get into Lake Clark National Park. Before I begin, I hope you will subscribe to the channel. I'm hoping to get to 250 subscribers soon. This is going really well, and I'm really enjoying telling you guys about all my incredible National Park adventures. Now let's talk about Lake Clark. So first of all, what was our itinerary? This is a very interesting one, even weirder than the one I had in Isle Royale. So we started in Anchorage and flew to Port Allsworth. From Port Allsworth, we would have excursions each day. The first day we were there, we didn't have any excursions, just stayed in the area. The second day, we were going to hike Tenalian Mountain, one of the only trails in the park. And following that, we would go to different areas of Katmai and Lake Clark. We're going to focus on the first two days here. So flying in from Anchorage to Port Allsworth, I must say, this is, without a doubt, the most beautiful flight I've ever taken. You get really close to so many massive glaciers. I'd say at least 10 of the ones I saw were better than Exit Glacier. There are many waterfalls, mountains, lakes, rivers. I saw some bears from above. This was an absolutely breathtaking flight. I was constantly getting videos and photos. I'm truly speechless about it. It was just so amazing. And the crazy thing is, a lot of this was actually in the park that we flew over. So that immediately made me think, Lake Clark is going to be one of the best national parks I've ever been to. It's really, really awesome. And this is just a start. We didn't do a whole lot the first day in Lake Clark. We did go to the visitor center, which was closed, but there's some really cool outdoor exhibits. Walking around is really nice. There's just so much going on, it's really, really great. Now that we've gotten this out of the way, let's shift our attention to the second day, where I hiked Tenalian Mountain. The first part of Tenalian Mountain is flat. It's very, very calm. There's some ponds as you go past. You might see a bear, we did not. Some cool rivers. It's a very nice trail. Once you get to a fork in the road, you go left for the mountain and right for the falls. The left is where we went first, and the trail got harder quickly. We saw a small mouse, which was cool, but other than that, it was mostly just a lot of really tough, frustrating stuff. Really tall plants walking through, plenty of mud, a lot of loose rocks. It's not the easiest of trails. As we headed further up though, we got great views of the mountains, Lake Clark itself, and even got to see Port Allsworth from above. This was really, really cool. As we got to the geological marker at the knee of the mountain, we thought, hooray, we finished a trail. You may think this too. However, there is a trail that goes all the way up the mountain. Looking from the knee, you're gonna be like, no, there's not, I see no trail. Yes, that's because at this point, there is no maintenance on the trails. So I'm going to say this now. If you struggle greatly with a trail like Angel's Landing in Zion National Park, do not go all the way to the top of Tenalia Mountain. I hate to be negative, but you could get injured. I'm not the most experienced hiker. However, I do have experience with quite a few relatively difficult trails. I haven't really done much backpacking, but I've done things like Highland Trail and Glacier and Bright Angel and Grand Canyon. Those trails were cakewalks, compared to Tenalia Mountain Summit. After the geological marker, it's only, I'd say, a mile up. It took me an hour. It would normally take me, on a standard trail, something like 25 minutes to get that far. This trail is really tough. The steepness is shocking. And one of the reasons you won't really be able to see the trail from where you're starting at the geological marker is because the trail is sometimes not there. It's not maintained. So sometimes you'll be going to the trail and you're just going to come to the end of it 
and you're clearly not at the top of the mountains here, so like, which way should I go? You're gonna climb up a little, and then after a few minutes of hiking, you'll look to your left or right and see you're way off the trail, because the trail's just kind of gone for a little while. The scariest part of this trail is once you get to the knife edge ridge line. You're walking on loose soil and rocks. Going up is the easier part. Once you're going down the loose rocks, it's scary because I'm not going to get into it too much here, but I'll just put it this way. I was definitely afraid of what would happen if I fell the wrong way. This trail really is frightening. However, if you feel up to it and you're really careful going up and down, the view at the top is worth it. It's one of the most amazing views I've ever seen on a hike. Stunning mountains of different colors, different lakes, rivers, forests. Looking back from where you came from is amazing. It's just a really fantastic hike. I felt so amazing when I got to the top. Getting down is way, way worse though. Because I will tell you, I did get actual injuries from falling down the trail because it was just simply too slippery. And if you are hiking with somebody in front of you, keep in mind you may knock down some rocks that could go near them. The best advice I can give for this, which actually did save my brother from getting hit by a rock, tell them to put the trekking pole, if they have one, or a backpack or something behind them where the rock is going to hit so it blocks that before it hits them. This may seem like really weird advice, but honestly, it's really helpful because this trail is dangerous. It's not for those who aren't very experienced in mountain hikes. I honestly really loved the view and think it was worth it going up, but I was not the best person to go up this. My brother and I, I can't believe we made it, but it was really awesome. We did do Tenalian Falls afterwards. Tenalian Falls is a really beautiful waterfall. It's not massive, but the amount of water pouring down is astounding. Gushing waterfalls, it's really, really amazing. It's a really cool place, and I definitely like the falls. So overall, from what I've experienced in Lake Clark so far, it's amazing. I haven't seen a ton of wildlife in the park yet. I've seen some birds. The bears I saw on the flight were outside of it. But the scenery is absolutely amazing, and the hike was fantastic. One of the greatest hikes I've ever done, despite being really terrifying. And if you ever come to Lake Clark, I think you'll have a great time. It's pretty tough to get to, but it's definitely worth a trip. Really amazing park. And I can't wait to talk about Katmai in my next video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment your thoughts on Lake Clark down below or any questions you have. I'm happy to answer them. I'll see you next time.